from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. I want it now. And now. And now. Here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And yes, here we are with another edition of Like Us 101, the on-air, ongoing on-air adult education course teaches men how to get more tail for less money, just as importantly, teaching women how men think. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Dina on the Tom Like Us show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I am calling to let you know what my new resolution for the new year is, is to stop being so over-emotional because it's driving my husband up the wall, and I kind of want to keep him around. Uh, that's true, and uh, the, all that drama and all that talking all the time, uh, the, the guys can't take it. Uh, yeah, when I was listening to the young lady about the dreams and waking up her boyfriend or whatnot, I, I was thinking, how, how could you? how dare you wake up anyone in the middle of a sleep just to talk about something that is really insignificant. It's not like a child is sick and needs to be rushed to the hospital. Right. And, um, yeah, but, yes, my uh, over-emotion has gotten me in more trouble than what it's worth. And at times I actually feel like my husband has distanced himself sometimes with me because of it. And, it, and that's the last thing I want. I think we women don't realize that. And by the way, they say things like, but we need to communicate. We need to communicate. But, but the reality is all you're doing is pushing them further away. Communicating is one thing. I mean, there are times, you know, when my husband obviously sees my frustration with the kids because I'm going back for my master's and I work full time. And, you know, he's like, hey, what's going on? You, you look a little perturbed. And you know, I express myself, and he's like, great. Well, you know what? It'll it'll weather through the storm. We'll be fine. And that's all what I need now. Before, I needed to, like, harangue about everything, and then I come to realize he just stopped listening. It, it wasn't the quantity of the amount of talking I had to do. It was the quality. And I think a lot of women have to realize that now. I think you're right. So... So my New Year resolution is kind of get my emotion in check a little bit more, and, I, and then I think I'll tweak our marriage even better to to be a better wife for my husband, because that's the bottom line. Sounds good to me. Brian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Brian. How you doing, my man? Doing great. Okay. First off, I want to say congratulations. I think you're the man to met the legend. I've only been listening for about eight months, but you're doing a good job. Thank you. And uh, But I also wanted to ask, how deep do you think your bullpen would be if you was only making about seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 a year? Well, understand, making seven figures is part of who I am. I wouldn't tolerate making $70,000 a year, and we all have control over that. Yes, I realize that. I realize that. But you know, I'm just saying. You know, I've seen. So I don't. I don't deserve to have the same. I don't deserve to have the same bullpen if I make seventy thousand dollars a year. But guess what? I never would. Okay. Good answer. Good. Okay. Honest. That's what I like about you, Tom. Doing a good job. Can you take me out travel? Of course. Here you go. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Look, the bottom line here is this: I would never tolerate making seventy thousand dollars a year. the The last time I made seventy thousand dollars a year was twenty years ago. 
not acceptable. And all you people talk about my, the money I make as if I won the lottery or something. I didn't win the lottery. I worked my ass off. That's how I got to where I am today. That's how I did it. So how much money I make and the fact that I'm famous is part of who I am. If somebody uh, loves me because I'm famous and successful, that's fantastic. Because being famous and successful is who I am. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jared on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. What's going on, man? Uh, not much. Hey, first of all, what's up with these whining broads calling in tonight? Well, there's always whiny broads trying to participate in this classroom discussion, as you know. Oh, and they need to stay out of it. No. Let, the men, let the men do their job. Uh, exactly right. They probably should. <laughs> hey, Tom, i got a question for you, man. Yes. Where can I find these Krugers, lonely Krugers for the holidays? Just bang. Most of them work, I think, over at Coast and uh, My FM. <laughs> hey, I seen their website. No, call thing. call five two zero Coast. No, no, thank you. I seen their website. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like I don't like the smell of Bing Gang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just tired of these little whining little girls, you know. Me, 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 and the other one, my dreams, and me, 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 you know. Remind you, remind you of why you live alone. Exactly. Exactly. I just want to wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, you know? Done like you deal. Say. Ipso like facto. Say, Dad. Like you always say, Dad, you are the man. Yes, I am. 1-800-5800-TOM. Art on Likus 101. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. I love you because you are rich and famous. Thank you. <laughs> The reason I'm calling Tom is because uh, I'm living with my girlfriend right now who's going through a divorce, legally separated. <sighs> and what's happening is that her current husband, who she's legally separated from, went to court today to have me removed from the home. The judge ordered me to move out. How can that be done, Tom? What happened? Yeah, can you believe that? No, no, so repeat that. Go, go over that again. I'm living with my girlfriend. Who yes. is legally separated. Right. Going through a divorce. Yes. He moved out of the home, got a restraining order against him. He's out. Okay? They are going through the divorce. Now, he is all upset because I'm living there now. I moved in with her. Which, by the way, he has every right to be upset. Yeah. You know, I'd be upset, too. But he had me... He went to court today. They went to court today, and the judge told my girlfriend that I need to move out of the home. Well, I, I, I think he had every right to try to do that. But how could a judge have me removed from the home? Maybe because he's paying the bills? No, he he stopped giving her money for to be Is it a house? It's a house that his name is not on the deed. Her name is deed. The motion was to have her removed because he feels that she is an unfit mother to the 10-year-old, to the 13-year-old. Well, having her, your boyfriend living with you while you're still married to somebody else uh, could be seen as bad for the children. Okay. And how about how about like if uh, the, the kids are saying, hey, we love... Don't matter what the kids say. Okay. I understand. Because, the, you know, the kids will say, uh, I can drive your car. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So I won't, should the, I, won't, I won't let them do that. The fact that they they want to do something or they like something doesn't mean it's good for them, does it? No. Why are you living with somebody who's married? Why are you living with somebody with children? Why are you doing that? Well, we have a good relationship, Tom. It's not like uh, uh, anything bad at all. We like each other. We understand each other really well. Yeah? Who's paying for those kids? She is. So she's not I'm getting child support? She's going to court for child support and alimony. Ah, I see. So you're you're planning on living off that? No, I don't plan on living that. I, I, I have. I have you are living there. there. Well, who do you think is paying her part? She's paying for her part for now until she gets alimony. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I'm on my cell phone. You're breaking oh up. I'm sorry. God, God, this is painful. <laughs> she's yeah, paying. Hey. She is. Will you shut up? Yeah. Please, shut up. 
she's paying for now until she starts getting alimony. Then he will be paid. Okay. Right? Right. He was, yeah. Uh, well, what's happening right now is that he's not giving her anything right now. He stopped giving her money, which is understandable. I probably wouldn't have given her any more money either. And, uh, you know, I, I gonna like right now I'm on my way over there to take my stuff out because I don't want to cause any more problems here. Good. You shouldn't be living there anyway. I shouldn't be living there, huh, Tom? No. Okay, well, that's what I'm calling you. I'm calling you for some guidance because, you know, I listen to your show. You give it the proper guidance. And I just uh, wanted to hear from the Rule the one, kitchen. don't date anybody with children. Rule two, don't live with anybody. Rule three, don't live with anybody who's married to someone else and has children. You got it, Tom. Take me out Kobe style. I'll take you out. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. I mean, and by the way, he's going to continue to do exactly what he's doing. Nothing there is going to change. Nothing. Jeez. Here comes Blake. Blake is listening to the online stream in Seattle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Blake. I've been listening to you for quite a while, and I've always had this one question. Yeah. Um, if women want to be equal to us, then why should we pay the bills? I totally agree. We shouldn't. Nope. Meaning you shouldn't. Do you have a girlfriend, Blake? Mm, no. Good. I like that. Uh, do chicks try to get you to buy them things? Oh, God, no. They don't even ask. Uh-uh. Because they know better. Yep. Wow. Oh. So what do uh, the chicks you know think about that? Yeah, they, yeah they, they just don't care. They don't care about you? No, they don't, they don't care about me at all. Because you won't buy them things? Nope. Oh, boy. Because I'm not going to take my money for them. Good for you. Don't give them a penny and don't ever tell them they're attractive. Nope. That's one thing that, I, that I'm that i never going to do. It's giving them uh, the, your ammunition. You don't want to give them your am ammunition. This is war. Yeah. You wouldn't hand the enemy uh, the bullets. Nope. You, you need the bullets. You need the bullets. To take care of business. That's right. Does your dad uh, take the Likus 101 course? Um, yeah. And how is he doing? He's you know, doing good. You know the rules. Is he doing, uh, is he doing the job? Is he doing his homework? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Excellent. And does your mom live with your dad? What? Does your mom live with your dad? Oh, no. No. Does your mom know you're a student? Yeah. What does she think about that, Blake? She's she's proud. She is proud. How old are you, Blake? Twelve. Twelve years old. And a Likus 101 student. Now, what are some of the more important lessons that you've learned here? Never, ever bring flowers on a date. Never tell a girl that she's pretty. Never, ever buy her anything she wants. And most importantly, do not buy her flowers, drinks, and jewelry. No jewelry. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Have you ever gone on a date, Blake? No. Not yet? Nope. When you do, how much will you spend? Nothing on her. <laughs> Good. I'm proud of you, Blake. Good work. Thank you. All right. By the way, do you know other people in your class, for example, who, who are students? Yes, lots of them. Of 101, they are? Mm, nope. They, they they are like as 101 students? No, they're not, or yes, they are? No, they, they go against it. Oh, they do? Yeah, all the boys go against it. Oh, boy. 
but me, I'm with you. That's good, Blake. I'm proud. Thank you so much, Blake. You're welcome. Take, take me on Kobe style. Take you on Kobe style. Here you go, Blake. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Does she ask you about her, your family or any personal questions? She met my mom. She met your mom two weeks in? Oh. Uh, Jeff! Yeah. This is booty call. You never introduce your mom to booty calls? <laughs> never! It's like it's 101 on the Tom Likey Show. It's... Like us 101, I am your professor at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Serena on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Serena. Hi. I'm going to make this quick. I was curious. Are you um, a psychiatrist? Am I a psychiatrist? No, I'm not. You're not? So. Why do you ask? You just- I'm just curious because, you know, you said that your show deals with issues. Yes. Well, first of all, as you know, uh, especially calling from Boise, Idaho, you can't use language like that on the air. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, you are aware that that word would not be permitted on the air, correct? I, well, I have been listening to your show for about an hour now. Don't get me wrong. It's funny. It's not just my show. You understand that using that kind of language on any radio station would be uh, unacceptable. You understand that? Well, I do now. You didn't know that? So you're not a psychiatrist. You're just a... Are you asking, are you asking if I have credentials? Dear, I have a curriculum vitae, for God's sake. I'm a cunning <laughs> linguist and a master debater. I'm so also... you talk about your wealth. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you, want, you ask for my credentials. I'm trying to give them to you. Okay. Will you listen? I will. My cell phone is cutting out a little bit. Don't but. blame me for the fact you don't have a good cell phone. That's your fault. <laughs> You're right. Hi. That is my fault. Yes. So anyway, as I was telling you, my curriculum vitae is as follows. I'm a cunning linguist and a master debater. I'm also, uh, I'm an amateur gynecologist. I've got Russian hands and Roman fingers. And on top of that, I also am the one and only state board certified interpreter who can interpret women into English. Oh, okay. And if you check with the state so board, you will see I'm the one and only person. I'm sorry? Just chauvinistic men, like yourself. What are you talking about? You're so chauvinistic. How, do you, really? What, is, what does chauvinistic mean? Women are just as equal to men in every uh, aspect. It really? Is that so? All right, that's good. I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad you said that. That's great. Let's talk about the 2008 presidential election. Uh let's go over the candidates and your opinion of each one of them. Go right ahead. Excuse me? I said give me the list of the 2008 presidential candidates and the pros and cons of each. Uh, just briefly about a sentence or two you, about each one. You know, I'll be going for Hillary Clinton next election. Well, that's one uh, candidate. That's- well, I don't need to know anymore. I'm not quite interested. So, in other words, you don't know the other candidates. Is that right? I don't know. But you claim to be equal to men. Equal to men who know the presidential candidates? Well, clearly, uh, you don't know as much as some people, do you? No, I don't. I'm not saying I do. All right, so you're not equal, are you? I am equal. Really? Name another Democratic candidate. You know, I'm not going to let you bruise my ego. I just wanted to. Well, well it's you because know, you're ig- know, darling. I'm sure, if you, you I'm sure 30, you're too ignorant to be 30 offended. Thirty grand a year. I make thirty and, grand a year. Yeah, sure I do. Mm-hmm. And uh, so you can't name any presidential candidates other than one. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Peace out. See, and she hangs up now, thereby proving that she is inferior to the vast majority of men. They make it so easy. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Nora 
on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Great. <laughs> that was so hilarious what you just did with that girl. <laughs> <laughs> she was she was easy it. she was easy pickings. <laughs> That was uh, too funny. But, no, she shouldn't be making um, comments like that if she can't give an educated answer. She can't back them up. Exactly. Um, But I just, I I called in because I wanted to ask you something. Um, When you go out on a date, um, like, okay, say you go out on a date with a girl. Do you actually take, I mean, say you go to dinner. Well, I avoid that at all costs. (laughs) I'm sure you do. I do. I'm just saying, like, what if the girl says, hey, you know, she's super hot, she's really nice, really sweet girl. I don't make exceptions to the rule. (laughs) Well, let me finish. Okay. She's really nice. The hotter they are, the lower their self-esteem, the more you can get away with. Okay. But what about when you go out to dinner with a girl and she's I don't. You don't go out to dinner ever. Not, Not if I can avoid it, no. No, but ever. Like, you can't tell me that you... If I've out. been to dinner, it's usually been with somebody who I've been with for a period of time, and I'm hungry. But uh, not as a date, and not to impress anyone. I just don't do it. Okay, so when you go out with that person that you've been with for a while, and you're hungry, do you treat? Um, Sometimes I will, if, if I picked a really expensive place and they can't afford to eat there. <laughs> but generally, I try to avoid that, too. Okay. In fact, I can back this up because there are maitre d's around town, and I will tell you some of the places where I've had uh, dinner. Uh, Cut, the Wolfgang Puck restaurant at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel, Uh Beverly Hills. Um, Well, no, I mean, I'm going to give you a wait, wait, wait. I'm going to give you some, okay? No, I'm I'm not. The Hotel Bel Air. I'm not interested in knowing where you eat. No, you know, you haven't haven't heard what I'm going to say yet. Okay, go ahead. So, like every female I know, you just. Can't let a man finish a sentence. <laughs> well, but, I have to get to school. So yeah. Kind of uh, yes. Uh, the Hotel Bel Air, okay. Crustacean in Beverly Hills, the most expensive okay. restaurant in Southern California, I believe. Uh-huh. Uh, people who have seen me at these places know that when I go to them, I go with guy friends. <laughs> now, you talk to the maitre d's who see me there, they will tell you. Okay. Why would I spend one hundred and forty dollars on a steak on a chick? Okay, but once in a while, when you do go do you go out with the ladies, you know that you know well, you will treat one. I won't spend one hundred and forty dollars on a Kobe steak. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> well, I think that if you ran into a nice girl, a sweetheart, you know, a pretty girl that deserved it, I think that you would. What makes you think that any of them deserve it? <laughs> Well, I know I deserve it. In fact, last night I went out to dinner with um, a very, very good-looking, nice guy. I've known him for a couple of years. And yeah, and uh, you've had sex with him? Yeah, and we're not serious. We're not in a serious relationship, but we've known each other for two years. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, he's in the acting business and stuff. The he's acting business. No, he's an actor. I'm sorry. You know how actors are. Yeah, and what does he do to make a living? Um, He bartends. At there we go. He's a bartender. <laughs> Call him what he yeah. is. And um, and he's an actor, too. But anyway, no, well, fine. So am I. I'm a member of SAG. The bottom line is that he's a very nice guy. And he's very good looking, too. What is your and, point? Well, my point is, is that, you know, we went out, you know, we went to dinner. You said this four times. What is the point? My point is. Well, you, you always interrupt me. Can like, I tell you how you sound on the phone? Here's what it sounds like. I'm, he's a very good looking guy, and he's an actor. <laughs> And we went to dinner, and he's a nice guy, and he's very okay, good looking, and he's an actor. He's and we my went out to dinner, was... and he's a very nice guy, and he's an actor. And I went out to dinner with him, <laughs> and and he's is... a very nice guy, and <laughs> and he's point... an actor, and he's a very nice guy. And we went out to dinner, and he's an actor, and he's a very nice guy, and he's an actor, and he's a very nice guy, <laughs> and he's an actor. Did I tell you he's an actor? He's an actor. <laughs> Sometimes he bartends, okay. but he's an actor, and he's a very nice guy. No, my what point is the is, point of all of this? My point is that I'm a nice girl, and he knows that, so he treats me like a nice girl. Yeah, but why should he yeah. treat you any better than you treat him? I treat him great. I mean, so. the guy's a struggling actor, and you make him pay for dinner. 
No, the guy's a hardworking guy. He has money. He has enough to take me out to dinner. He doesn't have would, more than you have. I would gladly treat him to dinner as well. Why don't you? Nice. Let's call him right now and invite him out on you. Oh, he would definitely do it. He's no, no, let's him. call him and invite him out, but you tell him you're going to pay. Do it right here on the air so we can all hear you do it. But um, you want me to do that? Yeah. No, because I can't put him on the spot. You're not putting him on the spot. You're telling he him. He would be very happy about me. You're not putting him, him on the spot. You're, you're not putting him on the spot. You're simply going to tell him that you're going to pay. The reason you're not going to do it is not because you don't want to embarrass him. It's because you don't want to pay. You're a woman and you don't want to pay. I've, tr I've, I've treated him actually only once. Whose fault is I, that? Yours. Yeah, no, and see, the only reason I, I treated him once because I felt like being nice, and then I realized, you know what? I'm the woman... There we go. I'm the woman, and you've just made my point for me. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad I made your point. I'm a woman. I'm a beautiful woman. I'm a sweetheart. I'm a good Well, he's girl. beautiful, too. And he's an actor. He's very good-looking. He's an actor, and he's very good-looking, and he's an actor, and he's very good-looking. And he's an actor, and he's very good-looking. And he took you to dinner, and he's an actor, and he's very good-looking. You know, it's, he might get lucky with me after dinner. So, you know. If so he, he's paying for it. I see. <laughs> so you're a whore. Oh. And he's a John. I understand. He's very good looking. <laughs> so and funny. he's an actor. No. You know, I love the way you twist things. It's I'm hilarious. not twisting anything. I'm repeating right. what you said. No, you are. You do twist things, and you interrupt people. How, what have I twist, dear? How, I interrupt them when they start repeating over and 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 over. Wow, you're so funny. No, but I just, you know, I just really wanted to know about, you know, the question I asked you, and you answered it. So I, now I know my. Now you're repeating yourself again. <laughs> and I really want to just have you answer the question, and you did answer it. And now that I I called because I you know because he, he's an actor, and we went out to dinner. He's very good looking, You're and so and funny. that's why I called because I wanted to ask you that, and then you did answer it. And, so, and I think you're, you know, you're a funny guy. And, you know, you're a funny of, guy, and, you're, a and he's an actor. He's very you funny. Know, and, um, nice, but, good looking guy. Very good looking guy. Yeah, sometimes he's a bartender. He's a good-looking guy. Took me out to dinner. Okay. 15 okay. minutes to Wapner. I, have, huh? I have more important things to do right now, so I need to get going. But you I, have a good evening. By the way, we all have more important things to do. Let me tell you. Hey, Tom. It's Kat, the resident fat chick of the Tom Likas show. Yes, as Bette Midler would say, fat. But the Fu Pa Queen wishes you a very Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hajj, whatever it is, I hope it's all good for you. The Tomster rules. Meow. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's Like Us 101. I am Professor Tom Like Us at 1 800 800 Tom. Jamie on the Tom Like Us show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement, darling? It's a statement. Oh. I am saying hello. How are you today? Do you care? Well, I'm calling you. Obviously not. <laughs> uh, I do care. I'm sorry. I'm a bit nervous to be on the radio. Mm. But I'm actually calling you to ask you for your advice. Okay. I'm currently seeing an older gentleman. He's actually 44. What do you mean you're seeing him? Well, see, we go out. Like, I let him take me to lunch. You let or... him? Let me understand. You let him yes. take you to lunch? I allow him to take me. Why do you do that? Because you want lunch for free? Well, in a way, yes. In a way, you be women are the cheapest creatures on earth, and he's giving you a free that is lunch. That's very true. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. We are very cheap. Mm -hmm. We enjoy getting free things. But <laughs> uh, did you now learn, let me guess, you now learn that there's no such thing as a free lunch? Uh, I guess, yeah. How? How did you learn? Well, see, I'm not, I'm not giving him at all. 
So tell your friend to shut up. Tell your friend shut up. Tell her to shut up. So shut up, please. And turn the radio off too. The radio is off. Then then it's her. Tell her to shut up. Yeah. Lola, he says to shut up. Sorry, Tom. I love you. Okay, so this is the thing. My, I, I want to ask you for your advice. I have been seeing him for like about a month or so. And now the thing is that I've told him that I don't want to see him anymore, that I don't want any type of relationship with him since he's told me several times that he wants to have kids and, you know, marriage and all that. But you kept going out and eating those free lunches. Yes, I did. Well, you're getting exactly what you deserve. Well, see, I don't know how to get rid of him. The way to get rid of him was not to take free lunches from him. So it's you're I mean, getting I exactly what you deserve. Okay, so let's say I I stopped seeing him for a while. He kept calling me, and there was no way of getting rid of him. So have you ever heard of caller ID? It's this new thing they have. I have. I have caller ID. Really? And so when you see his number on the phone, why do you pick it up? Because I feel bad for the guy. He's lonely. Oh, stop it. You don't feel badly for him. You love the attention. You're an attention whore, like most of the women who are listening to this program. You love that he calls you. You love it. Then you love getting attention from me by calling me and telling me how much attention he's paying to you. No, but see, I'm trying to see if you can give me some advice on how to get rid Darling, of him. Darling, you like, know how to get rid of him. You're not you're not trying to get rid of him. You love what you have. You love it. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I hate when he calls me. <laughs> I wish I knew how to get rid of him. As, as a matter of fact, I do hate it when he calls sure, me. Sure, that's why you pick up, because you hate it so much. Well... I don't like it. I mean, I don't. Then stop don't like picking up the phone. So stop not picking up the phone. Correct. Okay, so your advice is just to stop answering his calls for right? the third time. Yes. Okay. Thank you for your help, Tom. And into the future, if you don't want this happening, just pay for your own lunch and stop stringing guys along. Okay. Thank you. Down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. one 800 tom is our telephone number. This is Ben on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? First time listener, actually. Cool. Yeah, I'm driving home from college. I got a question. What's the best way to break up with a girl that you never want to talk to again? Well, first of all, at 22, you should not have had a girlfriend. So True. one one word of advice would be to follow our rules and not have a girlfriend. Then you don't have to get rid of a girlfriend. True. But now that I'm in this situation, what would be the best way to remedy it? Stop taking her calls like I told the last person. Okay. That works. Thank you very much, then. I, I can't believe this is like I've discovered, uh, like I'm Columbus, I've discovered America. Oh, yeah, stop taking her calls. Good idea. Like, you've got caller ID. You know who's calling. Stop talking to people who are calling you don't want to talk to. Can they make it any easier? Jesus. By the way, let's keep this streak going here. Angel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How's it going? Going great. How's your day? Good. I imagine it's about it's about to take a turn for the worse here. I can tell already. I just need some advice on something. Yeah, I have I have this psycho girlfriend. Keeps on following me around, chasing me around. Goes to my house, calls me. I don't answer. Keeps on calling. Comes to my job. Calls my job. Those are calls I have to take. Still keeps on calling me. How do I get rid of this girl? It's called the police. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. What do you mean you don't think it'll work? I don't know. She just happened to show get up. Get a restraining time. order. Dude, I got, he, she got me at home with girls. I show up with do girls. You do you have a restraining order or not? The what? A restraining, do you know what a restraining order is? Yeah, I do. Go get one. Well, if that's the only thing I could do... What's wrong with doing that? Extreme, actually. No, no, you, you are at that extreme now. 
No, I tried everything else. That's right. Started, told you me just made my point for me. You tried everything else. <laughs> Well, yeah, exactly. So now you need to go down to the police station and fill out the forms to get a restraining order. And if it keeps on happening, then what? We, we will. You call me back when you've got a restraining <laughs> order. The what? You call me back once you've got a restraining order I, and it doesn't work. I was work. hoping you could talk to her and knock some sense on her. No, no. It doesn't work that way. Oh, it doesn't? No. If you're really serious, you go to the police department. That's what they're there for. To get rid of her like that? Yes. And just like the last two callers, you're not serious about getting rid of her. I am. I'm telling you how to do it. I'm not if kidding I'm sure about this. Knowing that she's gonna be I there. am not kidding about this. <laughs> See, you're uh, laughing because you don't take it seriously. I do. If you, you want to, to if you want to end now. this, if you want to end this, you have to go to the police department. Are you too much of a pussy to go down to the police department and file a report? No, I'm not. Then do it. I tried. I Tonight. Did, I did what I had now. In my, in my sense. Now. Now working. When you hang up this phone, I want you to aim your car at the nearest police station. <laughs> you won't do it, though. Yes, I will. When? Now. <laughs> you go down do there and you fill out a report. Well, if that's what I got to do, it's got to do. I didn't want it to get to that extreme. It but... is there. Too late. All right. If that's what I got to do, that's what I got to do. I didn't, I didn't want to get to that, but it did. So That's where was, it is. I was hoping you were going to give me another advice besides Dude, that. I'm tr here's what I'm trying to save you from happening, okay? Uh -huh. I'm trying to save you from when she wises up and calls 911 and gets you arrested. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no, I stay away from her. I that way, well, yeah, well, if, guess if I why? Fear, she comes to me looking for me. That's my point. If the police come, they'll blame you. Even though it's in my house? Now you're going to, yes, even if it's your house. All right. Domestic violence isn't allowed because it's your house. Well, all right, well, I guess that's where I'm going tonight, am I right? Yes. Get a restraining order. Now, you're going now. I'm going now. So now. I'm for work in about five minutes. All right. All righty, Tom. All right, if you have a restraining order and it doesn't work, call me back. All right, I will. Somehow, I don't think you're going to get a restraining order. I don't. <sighs> David, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. How's it going? Doing great. I wish I could say the same. Well, I'll just give you a little quick background uh, a couple weeks ago, me and my wife got in an argument, and she attacked me and went to jail for domestic violence. And she got released out of it because they said they didn't have enough evidence. There we go. He said, she said. But if it was me, I would be in jail for three years. And then... Why were you in such a rush to get married? Well, that... Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out, Tom. Yeah, well, time for you to live alone for a few years and start figuring these things out. Yes, it is. I I started listening to your show just a couple months too late, and I regret every minute of it. And so I, I'm in the military, and I went home. By the way, how uh, many kids did you have while you're at it? I have one son. Good work. Yeah. And I went home with him, and while I was home, she said I was trying to steal him. So in the time before I got back, she got me kicked out of the house and custody of him. Very good work on your part there, David. Good work. Yeah. So just another horror story for the rest of them. And if that last guy don't get a restraining order, he's going to be in jail for domestic violence or something like that. That's right. Because I know what he's going through. But I'm going to get this divorce. I already got the lawyer, and everything's set in motion, so I'm not. And when are you getting remarried, next year? No, I'm not getting remarried ever again, Tom. Finally learned your lesson? Yes, I have. All right. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.